Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mini Let's Play. It seems like many of you are enjoying this playthrough, and I'm definitely glad to hear that because I've been enjoying playing this game. Again, it's super intricate, super intense, and that's really my kind of game, so I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, there were a lot of... Well, there were a couple of questions in the comments that I thought were pretty interesting. I'll address those today. And there was also some suggestions in the comments that I'll definitely be addressing today as we pan the camera down and, and zip through our, uh, our lands over here. Just want to do a quick recap of what we've accomplished so far and what the plan is for today's session. Uh, basically, we managed to set up our power plant right at the beginning of episode one. We got a couple of residential blocks in. We got some kindergartens and, and high schools and stuff set up. A bus network set up as well to make sure people are working at the power plant. And then we also set up our agricultural situation, agrarian situation, our, our farms. We set up our fields. Uh, we've got the agro farm over here, tending to all of these fields, which will hopefully produce enough crop to sustain our uh, population. I will definitely to grow the fields eventually, but for now at least. Uh, we also have the crop from this field, once it's actually eventually been farmed. Uh, that will be stored in this uh, grain storage, and it'll then be trucked on over by this truck over here, to our livestock farm. So that's a nice little setup. As long as I get some people arriving at this train station over here, they'll be able to work over here and process that crop into livestock. Not exactly how it works, but y you know, it's, it's representative, obviously. Uh, so that's kind of what we had set up between the first and the second episode. And then during the second episode, we built up this rail network and actually made this processing center where we have the crops turning into uh, food, we have it turning into alcohol, and we have it turning into, well, we have the livestock rather, turning into meat. And what I'm planning on doing this session is, uh, well, first of all, fixing up this rail network. I was given some tips on how to do that. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to also set up an export network. So last month, or this first month that we've been playing, we've of course operated a bit of a deficit. Just a slight deficit. And that's because we constructed everything, right? We built everything from scratch, we're importing a lot of goods, but we did start to make some money from our power export as well. Uh, what I'm planning on doing is increasing the money we're making from the exports by exporting, um, well, food, alcohol, as well as meat, hopefully, uh, on the same train or on another train that comes over here, and then either pushing it out to Karabadag or perhaps out to uh, Sazalis over here. I think that makes more sense. We'd have to lay down less track, and I could get a, a, a line going out from this um, cargo train station, turning around, going over, looping down, and hooking up and exporting through the one track they have, unfortunately. They just have the one. Karabadag has two, and what I could actually do is I could export in both directions, right? Nothing stopping me. Now, a couple questions that were asked uh, involved, first of all, currencies. The plan for the game is to eventually have global events that affect the two different currencies, that affect uh, purchase and sale price of different items, so you'll want to adjust what you're doing based on the current situation. And that's where I think the whole currency game becomes a lot more important. At times, the dollar or the ruble might be a better thing to trade in. You might want to buy in one currency and sell in another. So that'll actually be really interesting to see in action. And another thing that a lot of people were mentioning uh, was about other industries. So nuclear power, I have not seen. I've only seen the coal power plant. But you'll see that anything that's going to get unlocked later is usually marked like it says required research engineering semiconductors electronic circuits i imagine that's going to get researched in due time and then we just end up being able to build these buildings there's no such thing for nuclear power so maybe it'll be added eventually this is still early access remember and i would like to see that it'd be really cool if you had to like you know process your uranium, mine uranium process it that would be really cool deal with all the um uh not fallout but the the waste and stuff so that'd be super cool and i would also really like to see an arms like a weapons um aspect of of, of trade to both dollars and rubles i think that'd be very cool anyway uh let's start by fixing up our train tracks this was suggested to me by east pavilioner who is also our 60,000th subscriber 60, yeah, 60k, yeah, 60,000th subscriber. So thank you, East Pavilioner, for being our special 60,000th subscriber. And thank you all who've been supporting this channel by subscribing uh, and watching and, and commenting along the way. It really does help. And again, just as a reminder, if you'd like to uh, see more 
Workers and Resources Soviet Republic on the channel, make sure you let me know by uh, dropping dropping a like and a comment. It does make a big difference. And I do read all the comments, even if I can't reply to them all in text form. So East Pavilioner told me how to clean up my train network. And hopefully it's going to work. Hopefully it's going to work. Basically, you don't want to have two uh, X crossings right next to each other, back to back. So I got rid of one. I kept this one because that means that when trains exit uh, or enter, I suppose, they can change which track they're on. Keep that easy. And then what you want to do is, well, first of all, we want to get rid of this semaphore over here that was causing us some grief. And I believe that's the only one we put down. Yeah. Yep, that's the only one. And the other thing you want to do, well, it's a couple things, actually. You want to get semaphore set up at the entrance and exit of every station. And these are two ways. And that is, if I understand correctly, to let a train know that no matter which track they're on, no matter which direction they're going in, they're either okay to roll or they're not okay to roll. So let's go ahead and get that set up first. And this should help set track direction for the rest of it. Now, we need that on both ends, of course. So let's go ahead and get it placed down over here as well. So boom, boom, and boom, and boom. And I'll add the ones on the other side when it's necessary obviously um then we want on this double track we want to get some one-way signs or signals set up and that's to indicate that you're okay to go one way or another uh for the rest of this track and if you need to crisscross you can crisscross so let's go ahead and use these blocks so this is one we'll keep the lights on the inside i think now why aren't you lighting up go ahead and put it behind the train okay so wouldn't they both be green? No, that makes sense. That makes sense. And then let's put another line. So we have to put a couple of these in to separate the track into blocks. So that makes sense. I think we can put one at the turning here. And the lights on the inside. Maybe we need another one. Maybe that's too long a stretch. Because this light should be green now, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Go ahead and put another set down over here, perhaps. Can't place one there. Sure. Can't place one there, because that's a switch, apparently. Okay, let's go ahead and put you down over here, then. On the inside. Hmm. That's because we've got a train passing through right now. I might need to return the trains to their depots anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are both green now. Excellent. And what about up over here? Green on that side. Okay, yeah. This is looking right. And I do need to return the trains to the depot, because they don't need locomotives on both side so i'll wait for you to actually arrive first you though let's um turn you around let's send you to the depot you can you can deliver the crops later so let's go ahead and make sure that's working first slow it down turn it around bring it back hopefully you can switch on over to this track uh so let's make sure this is all working first and then we'll move on to setting up our export situation we should be able to make it back just gotta switch on over to that side of the track. Okay. So this is happening because I have this stopping you right now. Go. Oh, gotta get past that semaphore. So you're gonna get through. You get the green light there. That's gonna turn red because you're in this block right now. You're gonna get stuck over here. That's fine. I'm gonna get this train out first. Yeah, okay. You can still keep going. Then we'll place one over here. Light on the inside. Right. Now light on the inside. Are you going to green up or no? Do I have to place you again? Pretty sure this should work. I was testing it a little bit before I started recording because I wanted to make sure it actually did work. But... Uh, you never know. You never know if it'll kind of bug out. Again, early access game, folks, so please excuse any small you know, shenanigans here and there. Alright, train's gonna arrive over here, drop off. How many passengers? Three workers are going to be dropped off over here. And they're going to go in here and they're gonna start making some livestock. Okay, excellent. That's good enough. No, 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 no. Go to the depot. We'll make the money back on the extra locomotives we bought be able to go right through yeah there we go those come down all right excellent we are making money off of power so at least there's still that and what i might want to do is um well first of all i'm gonna keep one aside hello can i can't i separate these two i can't that's fine at the end of the world so you have your path set up 
and I think this is fine. I think we'll have one train that just carries the crops and the livestock over to our processing uh, area, and then I'll have another train that's taking all the finished products from our processing area to the export. I think that makes sense. So let's go ahead and start you up. You're fine. And then we gotta get the uh, passenger train moving as well. You need at least two stations. Why don't you have to? Of course. Of course. Why, why would the game do this? <laughs> Can I not? This is hilarious. Okay, so you have... You don't have. Party Elite versus Trains. Part 2. Electric Boogaloo. Alright, you're the one. There we go. There we go. Boom. So we have these two locomotives. One of them is, of course, again, like I said, going to be working the export chain. Now, are you loading up? I could reduce this so it's not 100%. There's a slow trickle of... Uh, Things here might prevent that from working properly. Now, why are you red? This train is still on this side. Once it goes past that, okay, light turns green. Let's reduce this. Let's not go to 100%. Let's go down to 10%. I want this train moving often. And if it gets stuck like this, then I can just tell it to go like that. Need it to be faster. And then this passenger train is going to get all the way over here. It's such a small, dinky passenger train. One worker waiting over there. Anybody arrive on that bus? Anybody arrive on... Oh, yeah. 28 workers arriving on that bus. So we got a lot of people working over here making alcohol. We've got these people making food. And these guys are waiting for, uh, for livestock to arrive, which will hopefully be soon. And the unfortunate thing is these workers are going to get here. That train is going to leave? Question mark. coming from there. Why are you a question mark? There we go. It'll cross over. For now, though, let's go ahead and pull you back in so these workers will get onto the train. That is, like, almost 10. I don't want to leave them behind, so let's get you in there. Train's coming through. And then it's gonna turn in here. Excellent. Alright. That seems to be working smoothly enough. What, only one worker got on here? Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. The game wants to do that. There's nothing I can do about it. So that is done there. These guys got more of their products. Excellent. So now that train is moving back. It's able to go. No problem. They are on the same side of the track. That will slow things down a bit. I might want to add another semaphore somewhere in the middle over here. Maybe a couple of them, actually. So this is not going to get stuck for so long. And they are on the inside. Like so. That should keep things moving a bit more smoothly. Yeah, that should be good. And by the time you get past there, this light turns green and you're nowhere near it. Okay, cool. I like that. That's good. That's working smoothly. Um, now, actually, I realized something. I'm tempted to go this way to export to Sazalis, right? But, I'd like to get coal... processed coal onto the train as well. So, do I have... I know I left... a conveyor belt spot open for that exact purpose. But I could go... yeah, you know what? I could go down here and over, and we could load up the train... like, somewhere up over here. That's not too bad. Load the train up over here, keep it going. Yeah, okay, okay. I was worried because there was a much straighter path. Like, there's a very obvious and straight path that we can go over here. In this area. And send the coal over here as well from the plant down to here. And then load up and just go. But that's so much more track I'd have to put down for it. So, maybe let's not do that. Passenger train. Ah, it's so nice to see the trains actually working. And what's the deal over here? You just arrived. How much are you going to load up? All the livestock done. There's no more crop. There's no more crop. This is where it gets a little weird. It's like, how much... I don't want to have to keep telling you to go. And then again, like, I don't want to be wasteful either. 9% So, 
I'll wait until four-ish tons of livestock until it goes. That's how I understand it. Let's make sure that works. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Hopefully we're bringing some more workers in. 16 more workers. Nice. This is going smoothly. We've got another bus load of 10 coming through. Again, they will split. As I've told this bus platform to split where the workers go. Yeah, it's pretty efficient. Now, before I deal with exports, let's keep our own people happy. Right, Tovarish? Let's keep our own people happy first. Holy crap, we got so many passengers with nothing to do. So what I'm thinking of doing is because this school here has kind of broken our, you know, air quotes, perfect symmetry, I might make this area like an entertainment hub and then add and then have the symmetry flip on this line over here, kind of. There won't be perfect symmetry, but you know what I mean. So we'll have like a little pub over here. Maybe we'll add a little cinema hall over here as well. I do have a shopping center I'd like to get as well so our people can get clothes. I don't want them to be too unhappy because then they will start escaping. We haven't had any escapes yet. That's actually quite surprising. Okay, I'll take it. Um, wait. Yeah, people seem mostly happy. Alcohol addiction is not is not a problem or it is a problem i don't understand which way this I, uh, which way i want this to be and culture enjoyment isn't uh good enough it looks like to me well let's go ahead and build our let's go ahead and build our well, the shopping center is massive by the way i could put the shopping center over here flatten the train pop this down over here it's a nice big chunk or i could put it down actually over here. Nice spot for it, I think. And it'll cover all the blocks I put down. Because at the shopping center, they can get food, clothes, electronics, and meat. So food and meat I'll be supplying, but clothes and electronics for now at least will be importing. But I think that'll make people quite happy, and I think this is a nice spot for it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. First things first, though. Train looks flat enough. Yeah, train looks flat enough. Alright, so I should be able to, without any trouble, get this shopping center down over here. It just makes me nervous that that road isn't automatically connecting. That's why I was checking. And I don't like that factory connection, but it's okay. We're not going to have a direct factory connection. We're going to have a truck actually drop things off over here, so let's go ahead and pop you down there. Let's get our road with the lights and everything hooking up over here. I think it should be fine. Let's bend you a little bit. Come on, straight, straight path, straight path. Damn it, come on. <laughs> it's fine, a little bit of a curve. Never killed anybody. Uh, so that'll be good and helpful, make everybody happier. And then up over here, of course, we want to get some pubs happening. Can't be a Soviet Republic without a pub or two. If we got a pub down over here like this, that's pretty good. But how big is the cinema? Oh, the cinema is huge. Cinema is huge, but it's more like this kind of a layout. Okay. I might be able to fit them in a similar footprint to the shopping mall, actually. Which I like. I like that. Mm. Yeah, okay. So if this goes down over here... Sorry, just trying to eye this out right now. This goes down over here. Let's put the pub down first, I think. I can do... It's a terrible place to put it as well. So easily accessible. Okay, let's put the pub down. Like so. Let's get this road extending a little bit. There we go. Education related. No, no, no. Pub. Right there. Everybody should have easy access to it. Um, and I thought I just noticed a small store. Oh, rather than a shopping center, I should have put down a small store. God damn it, party. Like, this is what you get for being too easily excited. I've already got the grocery store there. You know what? This is fine. You got to invest in the future, right? You got to invest in the future. Right? <laughs> right, guys? Um, okay, this is almost perfect, actually. Let's go ahead and flatten that terrain. Get this sorted out. Like... So. Get the road in place as well. Hopefully this is fine. Too sharp a turn. That's not a problem. Because we can sort that out like that. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get the uh, footpaths in as well. 
Easier access is always welcome, especially to the pub. Especially to the pub. There we go. And from the theater to the pub as well, why not? Do... Do that. That. Cool, alright. Alright, not too shabby, not too shabby. This is great, these connections we'll make later, and I'll probably need more residential over here, but that's something for later. Let's go ahead and let all these constructions finish off, uh, and then, like I said, I can actually get things delivered to the pub and... Well, the pub's already done. I do need to get things delivered to the pub, though. I don't think... Well, I need to get food and... Uh, food and meat delivered to here. And to here, because they're automatically importing now, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and start getting the trucks set up, I think. I think our trains are doing okay. I'm going to do a quick double check here. That train's definitely moving. This train is still stuck here, so... We said at four tons it would move. That makes sense to me. If we were working at maximum efficiency, this would definitely be going faster. Let's keep an eye out to make sure that moves at around four to five tons. Um, so hopefully we'll catch it on its way in. Now, vehicle depot. We want to get... We want to get uh, open hull, I don't know, covered hull, to transport the food and the alcohol. Make sure we've got... Hmm. It's actually a lot it can carry at any given time. We only need 7.5 tons at the pub. This will carry 7.5 and this will carry 11.6 tons of food. Okay. So in that case, let's go ahead and get... I mean, this is not a bad pick. Basically one trip. Or do we want to go... I like how this one looks as well. It doesn't look so... Like, this one looks like austere and military. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, Sure. Let's go ahead with you. And so you, your path is going to be to first go here and load up... on food and alcohol and then you're gonna go over to the pub and you're going to unload oh god damn it you're gonna unload the alcohol and after the pub you're gonna take this road down and you're gonna go here and you're gonna unload the food I hate that it doesn't automatically update where you're looking but here you're gonna up unload the food, and then you're gonna go here, and you're gonna unload the food. But let's make this 50%. Wow, oh, that's as close as we're gonna get. Actually, it can be 100% here, so you unload all of the bread that's left over. That makes sense to me. You do that, all the bread's gone, all the alcohol's gone, hopefully, and... To get meat here, we need a different kind of truck. But let's go ahead and start this path. And let's go ahead and get ourselves a covered hull. No, a refrigeration. A refrigerated hull, rather. Uh, how much meat can you carry? Every time. Well, let's get this one then. Oh, god damn. Did I... Did I just sell the other truck by mistake, even though it wasn't on this list? I think so. Looks... yeah, looks like I did. Wow. Okay, well that's... I, I, that's fine. <laughs> even though it wasn't here, that's that's fine. Unfortunately, I have to make that tr whole uh, path again. Let's go ahead and get you set up quick here. Sorry, folks. Unload... Unload and unload. Make sure you are only food. Make sure you are only food and 50% of it. Make sure you are only alcohol. Cool. That's a lot quicker this time around. Let's begin. Okay. And then this bad boy over here, you gonna go here, gonna pick up meat, you can only pick up meat, and you're gonna go here and you're gonna unload it all. Easy. 
easy. So we've got these trucks. So now we should be at least sustaining ourselves as far as food and meat and alcohol is concerned. So we should be able to stop auto purchasing. Oh, you need meat as well. It's okay. People can go, people can go here for meat. Hopefully this will reduce how much we spend. Oh, you know what? I should set uh, auto purchase for clothes and electronics still. I will still need to supply those consistently. Lots of sellers over here. Nice. And do you guys know where you're supposed to be going for work? Bus platform, bus platform. Okay, good. And you also at the bus platform. All right. Lots of people working back here, hopefully. Lots of guests waiting, but no bar staff. Um, guys, go ahead and add that as a potential work location. And, um, guys, <laughs> can't be at the bar if there's no one working there. You, let's go ahead and add. There. Make sure we keep those places occupied. Quickly check. The so Feb's been going a lot be better. We're not two million in the hole, so I like that. The train seems to be working, and god damn it, I didn't ch check. <laughs> I didn't check the train's capacity. That's fine. We're at point oh two. We only have five people working here. Okay, we're working on it. Go ahead and figure our tracks out. In fact, before I figure our tracks out, let's figure out the export of coal over here. Because it's going to be interesting, I have to deal with the roads because these pillars, when you're building, they're not smart enough to avoid the uh, the road, so you kind of have to delete and, and rebuild and stuff like that. Let's get rid of this footpath because no one's using it. Completely useless, unfortunately. And let's see if it will easily allow me to spot... Okay, that's not so bad, actually. I can do this. I should be able to do this looking at where those feet land. So if I pull out this way, go over this way, and then I want to go up, do I want to make this pretty compact, or do I actually do the loading right over here? Like the track is going to end up down over here. Do I really want to get that close to the residential sector, or do I want to loop up? I think I want to loop up. I do kind of want to keep it contained if possible. If possible, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see. Another thing I should probably do, actually, is get a construction office so that I can flatten with bulldozers. Because it, it is pretty helpful. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get the construction office, like, right up over here. A good spot for it, <laughs> near all the nuclear power production. But you... much infrastructure in the way. Let's go ahead and put you over here, I think. The footprint of these buildings can get really annoying. Like, do you really need that much empty space ahead of you? Or to the side of you? There we go. There we go. Beautiful. We get a little bit closer to this edge. There it is. Would be an easy connection, please. Find out. We'll find out. Of course it's not. Of course it's not, party. Game was trying to tell you. By not automatically connecting it. That's what the game was trying to tell you. Down goes that building. In comes the flattener. Once that's gone, we're, we're gonna flatten this. We're gonna we're gonna sort this out. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. On that note, on topic of sorting things out, I uh, just want to mention really quickly again that if you guys are enjoying this series, you definitely should let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. It really does make a very big difference, more than you would ever imagine. More than you could ever imagine. Because I look at those numbers to get an understanding for what people want to see or what they don't want to see on the channel. And uh, that's how I make my decisions. Alright. This should do it. There we go. Nice and easy. There it is. Didn't take too long to build. 
and getting myself distracted because I wanted to build my coal. Well, coal, coal processing is already happening over there. What I need is something to load the coal onto a train, which is my train aggregate loading, not unloading, loading. One ton of coal is all I can actually store because again, it just kind of, it's a, it's a middleman. It transfers through. Okay, so if I pull you like this, our tracks would go down, over, up, around, down, and over. Almost feels like that'll be just as much track as going straight towards Karabadag. No, that's impossible. That's impossible, and I could do something like this instead. Tracks will have a bit of a field day. I'll have to delete some of the, uh... The, the power lines over there. That might work, actually. So, that would mean our... Belts, our uh, conveyor belts, would go down, up, back down. Alright. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. I wonder if this is enough space for it. I want to try and keep it compact. And one way to find out, I guess, right? Go ahead and do that. The other thing I could actually do is rotate it like that. Then the road's facing the right direction as well. Could make things helpful. We'll need some room for the tracks to get through. Should pull out a little bit further, like so. Just trying to use this building to flatten my path out. God, I hope that's gonna work for me. I hope that's gonna work for me. Once the sun comes up, we'll lay the track out and the uh, conveyor belts. Go ahead and check our construction office. So let's see, I wanted to buy bulldozers. And I believe it's like every bulldozer you have makes it a little bit faster to, uh, to level rain. So if I don't use rubles, go ahead and test it out over here because tracks have got to come through anyway. Yeah, so you can see the little bulldozers come out. I think you guys can see it. And they level it, and they level it for free. And the more I have, the faster it goes is another tip I was given in the uh, comments. So let's go ahead and buy a bunch of bulldozers. And now we can level the playing field, literally speaking, uh, for free. Wait, before I miss it. This train is still here. I'm not even close to four tons. 20 workers are going to pop out, though. That's good. This train is actually getting some work done, at least. How much is this actually going to change the pace? It should change it quite a bit. Rather than being just three people, it'll be 20, which will be closer to 50% of our capacity. So you can see, processing it a lot faster, and you're loading up a bit faster. Okay, cool. Well, cool, that works for me. That works for me. Um, all right, track time. Let's pause it. Let's figure this out. Like, you have enough room to curve. And I wonder, do we have enough room here? No, we don't. These are these intersections are way too tight. Should have maybe left a gap there. Because now the tracks are going to go over here. Very terrible living standards over here. Very terrible living standards. Let's go ahead and flatten this, though, to the road to make sure we can cross nice and easy. Uh, it's nice to flatten without having to pay. And I think it's faster. I'm not 100% sure if it is faster with more bulldozers. I feel like it's about the same. If I'm completely honest. Right, hopefully our track can go up this curve. Need a free excavator. Why you do this to me, game? Two excavators, hopefully that'll be right. I'm doing that and I want to flatten it. Oh, wait, what the hell? What kind of flattening is that? That you did all you undid all the work my bulldozers did. <laughs> no, damn it. Flat, flat, flat. Alright, lesson learned. Don't use that tool. Don't use that tool. Alright, 
all nice and flat. At least this is free and I don't feel like I wasted a ton of money. Alright. Now let me know actually one more thing guys in the comments. If you want to see more cuts or not. Do you want me to cut more of this like construction work? Because I mean it's a city builder so half, half the work is the construction work. Uh, but if, if it gets too tedious then I will happily oblige obviously. Let's level a bit more over here. And hopefully we can get a nice gradual curve. There we go. Okay, that was pretty good for a fair bit of time. Up until there. And a gradual incline over here, which we might want to flatten out. Go ahead and see if we can't do that. The big old mountain to flatten out. The very big little... Well, not a mountain, but hill or whatever. Especially up over here. What a climb. Well, it's good as well because the uh, the trains, I think they actually have some a degree of physics to them. They do slow down on their way like up and stuff. So that's cool to see. And we are almost able to go down. I think I'm willing to risk it at this point. Uh, let's find out if that, that's the right move or not. Yeah, we can do this little turn over here. Keep it nice and compact. Beautiful. And then we'd go... Over and across. Let's go ahead and go over first, hopefully. Oh. That's feeling. There we go. Oh, wow. That was actually super easy now that I've got the, the offices and stuff set up. Wow, that was great. Okay. So we'll go ahead and lay you out. You can just go straight across. Then why don't we do that? I don't know. <laughs> this feels so much better. Oh, I don't like that curve, though. That is a nasty curve. That is a nasty curve. Let me cancel. There we go. That's a worse curve. Too sharp a turn. Close enough. I say as I undo my work. Sorry, guys. Wouldn't say I'm obsessed, but I do like things to be nice, if possible. There we go. Like that. So much nicer. There's like this narrow sliver that we can go through. Hopefully it's enough for both sets of tracks. Go ahead and check. It looks like it should be fine for both sets of tracks. Get you set up like that, and get you set up... But now you're saying it's too much. You're fine up to here. Alright, that's fine. Let's do, need to do a little bit more flattening. Ah, it's free now, so good. Okay, hopefully that does the trick. No, it looks like you're even worse off now. I split the difference, I think. There it is. Alright, cool. That should do that should have done the trick, I think. Pull you straight out this way. Pull you straight out this whoa. This way. Oh, it's nice that we can actually blueprint without having to spend. Should have got that construction office a lot sooner. A lot sooner. Right now, hopefully we can curve up like so without overdoing it. I just want to make a slight... We could just not have to do the whole thing on a lump. That'd be great. That would really be great. Kind of. Kind of. Do that a little bit. Alright, alright. How about now? Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Nice and smooth up to there. Nice and smooth as well up to there. Beautiful. Let's get you over to here. Oh, that's ugly, but I'll let it. I'll, I'll, it can, it'll work. Will it work? No. Again, this is a slightly different type of flat. Let's go ahead and demolish 
these, unfortunately. I need to make sure I do that because that is my power export. What are you... Oh, interesting. Interesting. Don't like how that track looks, but I might have to... Ah, uh, no, there we go. That works a lot more nicely. Not perfect, but it's a lot nicer. It still has a little bit of a... Like a... Jank or a... Whatever you want to call it over there. Not perfect, but it'll do. Alright, great. So the train's gonna come through, load up, and then it's gonna go over, down, and out. It's gotta figure the train out over there. But before we do that, let's go ahead and sort out our conveyor belt system as we so we got to input is over here which is good because it's on the same side as our output over here must go directly from building a to building b we knew that let's go ahead and sort that out inputs on that side let's go ahead and put you over here that should be serviceable literally speaking we will put a road down and reach it now infrastructure is in the way you can see the road there Locking our construction. Am I really demolishing it if I never built it in the first place? Oh, hereabouts, I think we can do. Still not good enough. It needs to be like here. That's way too close. Or like here, perhaps. Okay. Now, if this starts taking me too long, I will edit it out. Don't worry, folks. As I feel like it might. Okay, if it has to go that far, then how far should it go? Over to here, maybe? All right. Over to here. Bam, there it is. And then you need to go across. I think we should be able to go all the way over to here without too much trouble. One way to find out. Overlaps with existing construction. I assume it's the power line there. Delete that. There it is. Go ahead and figure that power line out before I forget it. It's that not the ideal. There we go. Nice. It's just it's the the order of operations is a little weird sometimes. Uh, it's fine. It's a little weird. Now, hopefully we can go right... Actually, can we go from here to here? No. Of course. <laughs> it's way too long to be organized. But we can do this. Line you up over here. Get you over here. Yes. And... Yes. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Tell me I built the right building here. It is a loader. Good. I was worried it was an unloader for a second. I was like, wait a second. Okay. So this will all get built. We just need to get our large power lines set up again because we did delete you over here and you over here cool so that's all good once i decide to pay for it and then we need to finish our tracks off this is coming along a lot nicer than i expected a lot nicer than i expected now what i want to do with the train here I, I do want to take it as far off to the edge as possible, but there there is this massive mound in front of me. Uh, go over to here, I think. What we'll do is we'll flatten it like so. I think this is a more effective way of flattening rather than doing it per track, because I feel like that uh, takes a much narrower area and then it ends up not working properly. I think if I do this, then just smooth it out a little bit. Hopefully. There it is. I can do that. I can do that. Don't don't loop back in yourself. Damn it. Alright, and then I should be able to turn. Yep. And then it's not as far out as I would have liked. But I don't want to go over that hill. So I can do this instead. Wonder if I do that and then kind of use that as a guide for myself, basically. Because again, I don't have to worry about costs anymore, and isn't that a nice feeling? There we go. Flatten, flatten, flatten. Who needs trees? Who needs trees? Not me. 
Not me. What do trees ever do for us? Move you over to there. Move you over to there as well. Nope, that's not good enough. So again, folks, like I was saying, if you want me to cut this stuff out, just say so. Your feedback drives the content on this channel and how you want to see it. Alright, hopefully that's good enough. Move you over to... Here, leave some room to curve out. Move you over to here. You know what? So be it. So be it. Haha, <laughs> we'll do that. And then hopefully we can get a nice... Get you to match in a second. Cancel that, but at least we know what we're flattening to. Come on, come on, come on. Don't make me overdo it. There it is. There it is. And hopefully we can go all the way. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Oh, I love when it works out like that. Try and match this. Not the cleanest. Crossing out loud. I'm not trying to cross. There we go. And only one down here. For whenever we want to go back or forth. All right. It took a minute. That took a minute. But hey, we got this. Uh, and it should be up and running. And I'll need to... Uh, again, I need to still spend the rubles for it. So I think I need to do that. And then... Because now that I have auto-build with rubles selected, I can just click on things. And it'll realize I want to auto-build what's left with rubles. Boom. That'll all get done. Power's up. Trains up. Let's go ahead and play so we can get things, like, moving still as these tracks get laid out. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All that set up. What's wrong over here? There we go. All right, excellent. Now, semaphores. Let's go ahead and get, um... The two-way lights over there, and then down the line, we want to do insides, I think it was. We are doing lights on the inside, lights on the inside. That's right. Try and keep it consistent. That's a block. This is a block. This is a block. I think this is fine. And let's go ahead and do it over here as well. This is fine, I think. I might want a couple of uh, crossings. Want to make sure that trains don't get stuck on one side or the other. Right. There we go. And... more click there we go all right and then the crossings do i get one over here perhaps like one right in the middle i suppose not a bad idea if again if i understand their intent properly which i think i do so that should be good and then over here go ahead and get one over here and that should be good enough might want one over here as well. Huge straightaway where a train might want to adjust which side it's on. Nah, I think we might be fine. Wow, hey man, that's... Uh, sorry, I, I'm actually... Like I said, I really like games like this where you have to like plan and think things through. Uh, and I'm glad this that, that actually worked out. That feels really cool. Uh, it feels really cool. Alright, um, let's, uh, let's actually get a train now servicing that. So, what do we want it to carry? We want it to carry... Um, well, we're coming over here, and over here it's going to pick up some food. God damn it, I didn't check again if it was carrying four tons. You know what I can do? It looks like it's four tons. It's lo it looks like it's four tons. Uh, so, and then this truck's going to come here, and it's going to pick up food. Livestock, right? No, 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 no. No. Unload everything when you get here. Uh, only load food and alcohol. Whoops, messed that up. The next time it comes here, it'll unload everything, and then I just need to remember to uncheck unload. Glad I checked it. Anyway, so we want to get alcohol, meat, and food, right? So that's going to be on, I'm guessing, a closed... 
Oh, right, on a box car, sorry. So food, alcohol, and meat will be in a refrigeration one. That's that, and then we want a hopper car for coal. Yeah. Yeah. That's our export train. Right? Why do you have a question mark? Okay, it was just temporary. So, alright, if that's what you're gonna do, then you should start over here. You're gonna load 100% of anything. No, you're going to load 100% of only um, alcohol. Bread and meat. Let's reduce that to 50%. I don't want to load 100%. For now, let's let's go to let's go to 50% for now and then once our production is up and running super smoothly, that's when we'll uh, load more. Because uh, right now we're just barely, I think, going to sustain ourselves. So I want to make sure I don't, you know, screw that up. So yeah, load all that up and then go over there. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Completely forgot about <laughs> this whole detour that we made. Uh, don't unload anything here. Only load coal, which is this one. All right, so it's going to load up on coal over there. And then... You head over here to unload everything. All right. All right. Train's on its way. I want to see. I want to see what it does. Our biggest train. It's our biggest train yet. Okay. Hopefully, it's going to go smoothly. So you're going to get past this semaphore over here. You're going to go. You're on the left side. Are you supposed to be on the left side? You're supposed to be on the right side. So you cross over to the right side. Nice and easy. No big deal. Now you're on this side. You're going to hurry on over, hopefully. All right. All right. Let's take a look at your, like, stats and stuff. 150 kilometers per hour as we round this bend. 140, actually. All right. Round this bend smoothly. Green lights all the way through. Nothing's on our way. We do have that train being let loose. I have a red light over here. Is that going to cross over? It's going to cross over. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Sorry. Live commentary of uh, of this is maybe not exactly what you were expecting today. This turns green. Beautiful. We're going to get through. Then we're going to rotate into the station over here. Nice and easy. And then we're going to stop. We're going to load up. There we go. Loading up, loading up, loading up. Get that nice thumbnail shot for this episode if I can. So it is taking some time to load up. Yeah, sure, that's a, that's a thumbnail shot. And away we go. How much should we load up? We got 50% of what? Nothing. We didn't get 50% of anything. But we kept moving. Not sure why. However... We have three grand worth of goods on here already. That's good. I keep moving, gonna keep moving, gonna go up the hill here, gonna go across the road there. Perfect timing. Alright, still rolling. We move on over to here where hopefully the coal is being loaded because we do have I think we have enough coal output. Alright, when we come over here. Stop for a second. Coal is not getting loaded. Alright, we'll check. We'll check what's going on there. Resources available. Hmm. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> That's annoying. The uh, the actual conveyors didn't build, which is really silly. That's fine though. Not the end of the world. I think I got one last one over there. Cool. Next time. Next time. But we're rounding this bend. Okay, we're going on down, and I think we're pretty set for this. Uh, trade route, so to speak. Bit of a bummer that we didn't get any coal that time, but it's okay. Now let's go ahead and see what this does for our income here. So far, oh, our export has stopped, so I need to see if I still haven't repaired a uh, thing there. But we made 5.7 so far, and in comes all these goods. Alcohol sells nicely. Food selling nicely as well. Two grand. Two, 
you know, three grand, three grand uh, without any coal on it. That's not bad at all in one trip. Pretty good. And now it's going to make its way back. Should not be a struggle. And obviously it'll pick the right track as well. Okay, beautiful. Now, let's make sure this is actually working, which I should have done before. Good job, party. Good job. That's fine, though. Uh, and let's go ahead and try and find the truck down here. There you are. Okay, you're fine. So now you can stop unloading over there. Cool. So we've got lots of alcohol over there. All the food and meat we could want over here. More than enough. Absolutely. This is all staffed up. Very nice. People are happy. Oh yeah, people are happy. I love it. What? Why would you escape after I've made you happy? <laughs> How does that make any sense? Why would you leave? Got this train here. Four workers coming on down. Argo train moving up. Finally, I'll catch it. Yeah, just over four tons. Uh, which makes sense because it's... Well, it's 9%, not like 10... Right. Weird. Does it make sense? Hey, hopefully these crops will be ready soon. They are currently growing. Oh, it'll be a while yet. It'll be a while yet. In which case, I think I'm going to buy some more crop. At least now we have an export like system for it. So, you know, I know it's making us some money back. Nice, man. Oh, this... I don't... Like, I, I don't know about you guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys, under, like, understand the feeling. Wait, why are you going... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Where are you going? I wish I could see the path it's taking. Is it going to go all the way to the end and then turn around? Oh, okay. I need a little loop. Uh, all right. Let's, that's easy to fix. But yeah, so I, I don't know if uh, you guys ever feel the same when you're playing like city builders and stuff. But I really like when um, things come together like this and they take some figuring out to do. Uh, okay, that's not perfect, obviously. So where do we put this loop in? I think what's happening is the train's coming here. And then for some reason, it's just not flipping around. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I went all the way, I think, Jesus. Why wouldn't you just stop here and turn around? I knew I should have watched it come back. I don't mind putting a loop in, it's just, uh, I don't want to do it if I don't have to waste the money on it, you know? Because, like, what I could do is... I could loop up to that. And then from that, I could loop back down to, like, the track or something. I'm tempted to follow this train and see what it does. Wait, 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 wait. Right, yeah, because you've already been here, according to yourself. So weird. And we're not converted. Okay, we don't have enough crop over here. Fair enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I need to check that train out on its way back. Now, unemployment is still pretty high, which is a bit of a bummer. I'm not able to maintain a great work rate from some of these things. Crops are coming through. Okay, I need to load more crops. Go ahead and up this a bit. And at least I can get more crops out, especially since we've got it coming through now from the uh, from the grain storage. But hey, we haven't had a power outage in forever, which is great to see. And let's just check you real quick. Are you carrying any? No, you're not carrying any coal. Get back here. Get back here. Why aren't you carrying any coal? This is aggregate loading, so it should be dropping... Oh, you're not getting any power. Party. Pause it. Let's go ahead and get... Um, the electrical substation down over here, perhaps? Or over here? Wait a second, you are getting power. It doesn't say you're not getting power. But it also doesn't say you have an electrical connection. Okay, great. Real helpful. Well, let's get these roads set up as well. We can't. Infrastructure in the way. That's fine. A little fire isn't going to kill us over here. 
It's fine. That's fine. That's not my primary concern right now. I want to get the power working over here. If I do something like this, we should be fine, I think. Go ahead and get the medium voltage wire down to here. And I should also check my high voltage wire because I'm not exporting power anymore. We got this connection down to here. And goes over. We're connected. I, I need to wait until the light comes, I think. Pretty sure we're still connected. Um, no, it's not coming through. Alright, I'll, I'll see what's going on there. I want to check this train first. No, buddy, what are you doing? Oh, it's the lights. Fine. We'll figure it out. It'll all come together, folks. It'll all come together. <laughs> um, what was I... Oh, you know what happened? I think... And this is what happened. That's what happened. That wasn't finished building. Build that using rubles. You get so used to having something checked that when, when you uncheck it, you don't notice it anymore. Okay, it's all checked now. It's all checked now. Are you actually built? No, you're not. That's why we weren't exporting. They were glowing white to warn me. So now... Yeah, the slow trickle of money is coming through. Okay. Check our economy. Negative 13k. We should be able to turn that around. So this is March now as we arrive once more without coal. Uh, but hopefully we can turn this around. And so that's going to start bumping up. Yeah, look at our deficit. Slowly disappear and then stop disappearing. We weren't carrying any alcohol. We had very little food. Finally starting to get power out. Okay. March might be our first month where we make money. Maybe. We need some crops up in here. Quickly. You're coming through with 20 tons. You know what? Not good enough. Let's go up to 59%. That should do the trick. Now, here's our train. Now, what's it going to do when it gets here? That's what I want to see. Once it gets here, well, like what we can do is, again, we can also actually set up a loop down around this way, which I think might work nicer. Or I can set a loop up, like, here, to allow the train to loop back in on itself. This train's on its way out, right? It stopped, it turned around, this train's coming through. I did not expect today to be training day. Ho 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 ho. <laughs> I am so sorry, folks. I just cannot... I can't help myself. I just come up... I, I just hear these puns in my in my head, and I feel like they must be shared with everybody. You know what I mean? You're loading up. Tell me you're going to turn around. Loop around. Flip around. Flip around, damn it. It's still loading. It wants to get to 50% of something. I don't think we have enough food on here. I don't want to mess with it too much. And I actually wonder what happens if the other cargo train returns before this one leaves. Like, will they end up on opposite uh, platforms as they should? Or will it get confused and do the wrong thing? Because it should swap over at this crossing. Like, that's why this crossing exists. Uh, are we going to get to 50% of anything over here? I don't think so. And you're carrying any people? Yeah, you are carrying workers. So at least this is flowing nicely as well. All right. Alright, train, I'm tempted to turn this down to, like, 20% or something. But at the same time, I want to see what happens to this bad boy. I'm gonna load up. I, this is just, again, I just gotta make sure that all this is working properly. 49%. Next time, we can do 51%. Alright. Incoming train. That train shouldn't have any problem navigating past this one. Yeah, they're on opposite sides. Why are you... Red. Your path is clear down here. 
That's really weird that these two trains would stop each other. Oh, I know why. Because it wants to cross over for some reason, doesn't it? That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why would you want to cross over? I wonder if I should actually get rid of this crossing. It's supposed to help, but it feels like it's hindering. Anyway. So this train now is going to go this way. It'll stick on that right side. And it should be able to... No. Why, why are you... Why? Is it emptying out just so this train can go on the left side? I feel like that's what go that's what's going on, so I just want to confirm that. Because now this is going to get the green light. This one's going the wrong way. I'll waste some time. So maybe I do need a little loop. Hmm. No, it didn't even get onto the same platform. Alright. That needs some serious figuring out. Ooh, nice crossing. That needs some serious figuring out. But we'll leave that figuring out for uh, next time, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is where I'm going to call it a session. Pretty good session. I think we got this train network going over here. Really cool to see it in action again. I'm very proud of it, personally. It's got a couple of hidden... Couple, couple, couple of issues, a couple of issues, uh, but I think we sorted most of it out now. We're going to get the coal loading now as well. We're going to be making some money. It's not going to be as bad as it used to be. Power is running, and I think the next step is going to be, uh, like, what industry do we get ourselves involved in next? What do we try and produce and sell next to make more money to make sure our glorious Soviet Republic is safe and secure and everybody is happy and everybody is equal and nobody is... Escaping. There we go. Zero escapes this month. Beautiful. Thank you all, as always, for watching. If you had a good time, let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. As you know, that really makes a big difference in how I approach content on the channel. A massive thanks, of course, goes out to all my channel members and patrons as well. You help keep the channel running smoothly month to month. I really appreciate it. And until next time, thank you all, of course, very much for watching. I think I already said that. I feel like I'm repeating myself. Like trains, my brain is just going in a loop right now. But until next time, das vidanya.